this is Kayla with Live Oak Nest. Welcome back to my home. So I'm continuing on with my Christmas in July theme and today we are working on Christmas trees. So first up are these absolutely adorable vintage doorknob bottle brush trees. So these are probably the easiest craft you will ever do. The hardest part might be nailing down some vintage doorknobs. So when I'm out looking around thrifting um, you can usually find these just for a couple of dollars um, but look at garage sales antique stores um, and hopefully you'll be able to find a few so I love using these little um, the white glass doorknobs but I've also done some that are the crystal and they are beautiful um, and you can even find rusty metal ones and those would look really cute too so all you need to do to create these is pop off the original base that's on the little bottle brush trees. It's usually just look like a little wood base and you can just pull it right off. Um, and then I'm just using hot glue and putting hot glue down into the doorknob, um, the little handle there. And then I am also filling in that little hole um, with a little bit of extra glue. So these held up great. Um, no problem at all if you felt like you needed to use the e6000 you could it would just take much longer to um, get everything to dry really well so once i got my little tree in there and it felt pretty secure i just went in and kind of straightened it out and pulled all those little bottle brush needles um, how i wanted them to look and then i decided to go in and add a little ribbon to mine and for my ribbon, I just used some muslin fabric that I had on hand and just tore it into strips. I like the look of that and I thought that would be really pretty. Um, and then I also decided to add just a little paper banner to each Christmas tree. So I ended up using these on a place setting. I thought it would be so cute to be able to have a little um, banner on each one. That way I could write down a guest's name if I were going to have people over. I just thought that was a really sweet little um, kind of a replacement for a name card or a place card and then also a nice little gift they could take home um, after the dinner. So I just used some scrapbook paper that I had on hand. Um, this is just a neutral scrapbook paper that has some scriptures on it and I'm just using what I have around me to put a little hole in the end. You could use a, um, a hole puncher or a needle, anything will do. And then I just took a couple of pieces of thread from the muslin cloth that I had pulled off and I'm just using it to tie it around uh, my ribbon. So once I had that attached, I just snipped off the excess thread that I had and then I'm just going to tie this in a little knot. You could do a bow, I think that would be really cute as well, but I just thought I would do a knot and then just have um, the two little tails kind of hanging loose. So I trimmed those off to the width or to the length that I liked and then I'm going to go in with my thumb and just kind of fray the edge of um, that fabric to give it a little bit of character and just some extra charm. Aren't these just the cutest little things you have ever seen? I love them. So hopefully I've given you enough time that maybe you can start um, collecting a few old doorknobs if you don't already have them um, between now and Christmas. So I'm gonna kinda show you how I have these set up um, on a place setting for a tablescape. I just thought these looked so dang cute. Um, and I think they would just be such sweet gifts to send home with someone once they've um, been over for dinner. So I love these. You can also use them in vignettes, um, under a cloche or something like that. Um, very, very, very cute.
Okay, so now we're going to move on to some simple yarn Christmas trees. So you can make these in so many sizes. You can add toppers, you can add um, tree trunks to them if you'd like. I did several different versions of these little trees and I just think they are so simple to make and they're so cute. So to get started, you're going to need either a um, floral foam cone or they also have like thin cardboard um, craft paper type cones at Hobby Lobby that I saw. So those would work as well. Um, I had this cone left over from a fall project that I did and I just like whacked off the top of the cone. And so that's what I'm using for this little tree here. So all you need to do is use hot glue and I'm using a pretty cheap hot glue gun and so I don't think it gets super hot. You just want to be cautious of how hot the glue is. Um, if it is very, very hot, it'll just melt right through your styrofoam. Um, so turn the temperature down or use a cheap gun that doesn't get quite so warm and then you're just going to place a bead of glue and then press down um, the yarn and just loop your way all the way around the tree. So in this video here, I'm actually starting on the bottom and working my way to the top, but the more of these I did, I found it was easier to start at the top and work my way to the bottom. Um, so just a little note there, either way you do it will work great. I just found it takes a little bit less yarn and I didn't have to fill in gaps when I went from the top down. So once I got to the very top, I just kind of put a glob of hot glue on the very top and then um, just kind of swirled the yarn around to kind of stack it up. So you can see like I started putting a little bit of hot glue um, on top of each row of yarn just to kind of give it a top like I liked on the top of the tree. So this doesn't need to be perfect. I ended up sticking a little star um, on the top of several of mine, so it kind of covered up this little top part anyway. So once that's finished, um, on these trees that I started at the bottom and went my worked my way to the top, you can kind of see there's a couple of little gaps in there, and so I was trying to decide if I just wanted to kind of loosely go up um, and have different kind of layers of the yarn or if I wanted to just rewrap the whole thing again. So this tree was really kind of short and I ended up just wrapping the whole thing again um, because I thought it looked nicer and it, so it kind of turned into a really short little chunky Christmas tree. <laughs> so once I'd rewrapped the whole tree with the yarn, I went back in and just covered up the bottom. Um, I, you don't really have to, but I thought if I put these up high, on like a mantle or something. I didn't want you to be able to see just the foam styrofoam on the bottom. So I decided to just go ahead and um, wrap some yarn on the bottom as well. So once that was finished, I decided I wanted to put one of these little wood stars on the top of the Christmas tree, but I was having trouble trying to hot glue it onto that yarn that wasn't really secure um, since I just kind of stacked it up at the top. So I decided to break off a toothpick um, and then hot glue the toothpick to the star and then I just um, pressed the toothpick down into the foam and so it worked perfectly. Okay, so once I have the star um, glued down and secured, I decided to go ahead and add a tree trunk to this Christmas tree. So I'm just using a wooden dowel and trimming it down um, to the size that I like with my scissors. And I decided to go ahead and then drill a hole in this wooden cube here and then slide my dowel down into the cube um, just to make it sturdy and I liked the way that looked. So um, to do that all you need to do is take your drill and drill a pilot hole that's similar size um, to your wooden dowel and then just slide it right down in there. Um, I didn't end up gluing my dowels down into the wooden block because it was such a snug fit. All you need to do after that is just slip your dowel 
um, up inside the Christmas tree um, and since it's foam it just slides right in there and it holds no problem so I also decided to add a little ribbon um, and bow to this Christmas tree because I thought it was so cute so again I'm just using um, muslin fabric that I have pulled into strips and I'm using that as my ribbon so I simply am just going to tie on um, a bow and then I'm going to add a little bit of moss to the very top of the tree um, at the base of the star I thought it just kind of added a little bit of texture and kind of helped hide the toothpick that I used to shove the star <laughs> down into the top of the tree and um, I love working with this moss I use it all throughout the year and I always have it on hand so here are a few pictures of how I had them styled um, last Christmas season, but I just love these Christmas trees and I hope y'all have enjoyed um, me sharing the process on how I made these. If you love them, let me know down below. Make sure you save this, um, head over to the blog post and pin it so that you can look back at it when it comes time to plan your Christmas decor this year. I hope y'all have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon for another fun DIY.